Hi everyone, I'm here with another uh, mini album and this one is made for um, somebody that asked me for a mini album. So this is a back to basic mini album from Kathy King. It's the beginner and then I changed some of the cover and some of the inserts, I just added more inserts to it. So it's got a little bit of uh, Kathy's plus a little bit of mine. It measures um, about six and a half or seven and a half when it's finished. And the height is about seven and a half. And the spine, I think, is about roughly two, two inches, two and a quarter when it's matted and got your spacing in it. So on the front, um, I just kept it simple with some flowers. Um, this is a die cut. I, I don't remember. It's my, sis, my sister has this die cut, so I, I don't know what it is. But anyway, she could put a title here or the year. I put some washi tape here where the papers connect. I did mat it on some white because the paper was black. Um, the spine is just a simple small it's a, I think it's a small hounds too and then there's the back did the same treatment with the silver washi tape on the back and so this photo paper was uh, Bella Bella Amour from DCW this is an older collection from 2012 and this is an eight and eight and a half or eight by eight paper pad this photo album will have um, has room for 50 photos and there's a lot more room for more but um, there's 50 stamps that say place photo here or 50 options to put the, the pictures down. So anyways this is uh, the front. I kept it simple. This is your front cover and um, this is where I kind of added this little flip here. I like to do this just to keep all the inserts in the pockets there instead of flopping all over the place. So there's room for a four by six here and here. So, and then I just used the envelope punch tab here to make this so she could put the title here, a bit of wording or journaling. Um, she asked for some purple and teal um, photo mats, so that's what I did. So this one has um, an assembly of four, and there's two, and then this a three by four, a four by four, and I think this one's a four by six. Yeah, this one's a four by six. So some of them are, are maybe not quite like this, won't be 3 by 4 but it's, it's just using the leftovers and making use of some of the scraps that I had. And then that's your inside cover, you close it, has a magnet closure. Then these are the inserts, so you can do a 4 by 6 and then here 4s um, and a 4 by 6. So I didn't put place a uh, photo here because if she chooses to use uh, put some photos here, journal here, she's got the option and then she can put one on the back if she wants. And then I did an extra photo mat so these are three by fours and then um, she can add more photos in the back. Could also add photos here so you can see if this is a four by six you can easily place a 4x6 photo there. You could also place a 4x6 photo on the back of the page like this. So, or you can do your um, set of two or if you want to do a 4x4 four four, you can easily do that. So definitely this is room for photos. I think you can even probably, yeah, you can even do a big one like this, a group of and then put a title up here if you'd like. So lots of room yet for more than 50 photos because I would definitely put some photos there. I would mat it though just to make it pop off the page. But uh, there's the second page. So again just a simple photo mat. Put photos on the back. 
You can use it for journaling. There's a four by six, just simply matted. And again, you can easily put some photos on the front of that if you choose to. The back of this one is just kind of... So what I tried to do is I did the, the pages darker and the backs lighter. So that's a lighter, darker, lighter, darker. Just to make it look like it flows nicely. And then here's the photo map for this one. And like I say, you can definitely add more photo mats if uh, you need more photos. There's the back of that page, the front of this page, and the photo mat. And I just kept it simple here. And that's the back of that one, the front of this one. I love stripes so and polka dots, my favorite. And there's a nice simple page. Again, photo mats would look great there. Some smaller ones, keeping this there so that you can see. You could put titles, words, stickers. And then another photo mat here. So I've got two black photo mats, two purple, and two teals. And there's the back. And I made this the same. It's on the mag kit. You open it up, and you've got room for more photos. You could put a photo down here if you wanted, just stick it there, and then you can still put your pictures behind. Put a couple small ones there, whatever you would like. You could put them landscape or portrait. You could put some on the back. There's lots of room for photo mats. And that is my little mini. Um, it's the beginners in the all or B2B from Kathy King. And then I just changed it a bit and added a few things to it and changed the cover pockets a little bit. So I really like how it turned out. So I hope Lorraine likes it. And I will see you guys with another mini album or junk journal soon. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.